Hey folks, this is Evil Viking 13 and today I just have a few short thoughts on how I've improved my jet gameplay recently. I did a couple of jet gameplay videos about a month ago, and a lot of my viewers were really surprised that I had not started doing the trick that basically all the good jet pilots on PC are currently doing, and that is mapping my spacebar to pitch up. This would be the equivalent of having a joystick pulled back 100% all the time but you still have the advantage of being able to use your mouse for more precise aiming. I was really being a holdout about this because I was afraid that it was going to turn jet gameplay into just a technical exercise where I hold down the spacebar, spin in as tight of a circle as possible, keeping my speed in between 280 and 330, and even though that seemed like the way to succeed, it just really didn't sound like a lot of fun to me at all. I like being able to just rely on the standard mouse configuration for my flying. It just seemed more interesting to me. The problem was, recently I've just been getting destroyed in dogfights. I just could not keep up with all of these players who had already mapped their spacebar to pitch up. So, I gave in, and I have to say, it is a huge, huge improvement. The other thing that I changed to help improve my jet gameplay was I cranked my Razer Mouse's DPI settings down just a little bit. I used to play a ton of real-time strategy games and I would always have my mouse cranked way up so I could swing it around quickly, but this hasn't worked out too well for me in Battlefield 3. I'm a pretty quick shot. I can react really well with a high DPI setting. The problem would come when I tried to hold my aim on point. I tended to just kind of swing around my target a little bit and I wasn't able to hold my aim on target consistently, and the problem became especially noticeable when I would fly jets. I could get on target quickly, but my cursor would waver all over the place because there was just too much slight movement that I had to do to stay on target. And when you're trying to have that precise movement on top of flying the jet, it just was not working for me. So I've taken my DPI settings from 3200 DPI down to about 1800, and I've noticed a significant improvement in my aiming abilities and my ability to track targets. So. For those of you that are maybe having some trouble like I was staying competitive with the Jets, those are some of the things that I have discovered in the last couple of weeks to kind of help improve my gameplay. And I'm still losing definitely over half of the engagements that I have with enemy Jets if the pilot is also using this method of the, the pitch up on the space bar. But I'm at least competitive now. And I'm slowly learning the best combination of flaps and afterburners and spacebar and mouse to help me stay competitive in these long circling dogfights. I have to say that part of my fears have kind of come true. If I go up into a dogfight with another very skilled player, it does get pretty boring pretty quick. Uh, I've had a couple of dogfights where I've circled the guy and he's circled me for two, three, four minutes, and at this point, I'm usually the first one to get bored of it and either launch some ECM jammers and try to just escape or just try to go low, go fast, and head towards our AAA and hope that one of my teammates will help take him out or something because I feel like those circling dogfights just get old really, really quickly. They're also a bit more frustrating now after the March patch where jet cannons do a bit less damage, so the dogfights are taking even longer after the patch. Well guys, I hope that was some useful information for you. It's nothing really revolutionary, but I just wanted to kind of walk you through my thought process over the last week or two as I've been working on improving my gameplay, and maybe you guys can find something useful in there too. For now, I'll leave you guys with some footage of me attempting to make good use of this new system. If you guys have any thoughts on how to improve jet gameplay and how you might approach the problem, feel free to drop a comment below, and I'll see you guys on the next video.